Is that Chris? <sighs> man, 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 man. It is not looking good for Puff Daddy. No, nah, all trolling aside, I ain't gonna lie. It's not looking good, and 50 ain't making it no better. Man, what is good, YouTube? Y'all already know who it is. It's Lucas J here, y'all. Back up with another video, man. And today, or excuse me, tonight, y'all, we got a crazy and a wild video to talk about. Now, it seems like in today's classroom, we got some people that don't usually be on the roster. I want to switch up a content a little bit, man. It seems like we got your boy 50 Cent in Puff Daddy on the roster. Yes, y'all, we got 50 Cent in Diddy, also known as Puff Daddy, or whatever you want to call him. Pretty much, it seems like... um. 50 Cent kind of uh, alluded to the claim that Puffy may be going to jail soon. He might need to lawyer up at the clip surface of Keefy D pretty much admitting and saying that lawyer that Diddy gave them a million dollars after Tupac lost his life. And a lot of people are saying that Puffy may be going to jail for M for hire. Now, we're going to talk about all that, talk about all the clips that have been going viral. But before we do, y'all know my little routine, man. Just hit that like button, bro. And smash that notification bell so that you know you can't be notified anytime I drop a video, bruh. And I can also keep y'all updated on this situation. Now, I'm giving y'all time to hit that like button and smash that bell, man. Mm-hmm. Y'all got me? All right. Bam. Now, basically, what we got going on, as I said, y'all, we got Puff Daddy and Diddy on the roster. Now, if y'all don't know what's going on, um... Like last week, if I'm mistaken, maybe a couple weeks ago, I'm pretty sure it was like last week. But um, Southside Compton Crip, one of the guys that was related to the guy that allegedly took the life of Keith of Tupac, uh, Keefy D, the uncle of Orlando Anderson, pretty much was arrested in connection to the shooting of Tupac. Pretty much, they said that you know he got arrested after bringing up more details, whatever the case may be, about the Pac case, and everybody is saying that it's getting bad. Now, if y'all don't know, bro, Keefy D is like 60 years old, bro, and he had been cooperated or whatever. He got recorded on like a uh, on a secret like wiretap or something like that with one of the office or one of the um, investigators or whatever the case may be. And then after that, he started going on different platforms, talking about it, laughing about different um, different situations in the M, such as the way Pop was looking and bringing up different details. And they end up booking him again. You know what I'm saying? Another example of not keeping your mouth shut. But a lot of people are starting to second guess Puffy after this clip started going viral. Next. We ask Keefe D the million dollar question. On all, all four of those occasions, there's San Diego, Anaheim, Irvine, and Vegas. Which ones do you actually talk to Puffy at? Every one. Every one of them. Which of those four is it when you talk to him about Tupac? It really is about both of them. Either one of them. It was uh, Tupac, and Tupac, and Tupac and Shug, you mean? Yeah. Shit, he said he'd give us anything for them dudes there. You know, we 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 wanted a million. Yeah. Um, you said you walked downstairs. Did he say come meet me downstairs? Yeah, he said come on downstairs and talk to you. Oh. He tells you seriously, man. I need to get rid of these guys. I'm mean, looking at you in the eyes, and yeah. he's like scared. Yeah. So, in your opinion, the specific reason he asked you to come downstairs and talk to him was about that thing, not about liquor or anything. Yeah. It was about that. About okay. That, yeah. You tell him we'll do it for a million, and he's like, okay. I'll do it for a million. Yeah. He agrees. You shake yeah. on it or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Now, as y'all seen, pretty much, like I said, the same clip that y'all just heard is the same clip where he admitted to Orlando Anderson allegedly taking the life of Tupac. But in that same clip, he brought up how Puffy was gave him $1 million to, you know what, Tupac. Now, y'all know Puffy and Tupac was beefing back in the day, the whole bad boys thing. But, you know, Diddy pretty much tried to sweep it under the rug. And a lot of people saying that, you know, he can run, but he can't hide. Now, one of the people that was real vocal about it is 50 Cent. Y'all know he is the ultimate troll. He went on to his page and instantly said, dang. So, Park got lined by brotherly love. LOL, time to lawyer up. Ish might get sticky. Because a lot of people are saying, like I said, that he may go to jail for murder for him. I mean, murder for hire. You feel what I'm saying? Now, this is not the only time that he that's been brought up. You know, most of the time he tried to sweep it under the rug. But a lot of people start... Reposting this Breakfast Club interview with Charlemagne the God asked him about it and body language says a lot. Now it was this documentary that claimed, which we know wasn't true. Yeah, yeah, check this out. We don't we don't talk about things that are nonsense. We don't even entertain nonsense, my brother. So we not even gonna even go there with all due respect, but I appreciate you as a journalist asking. Thank you. 
Because you, listen, seven years ago, I'd have been like, yo, did you hire somebody to kill Pac? But no, you do it like a journalist. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, we wouldn't even get into nonsense like that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's nonsense. Which we never believed, by the way. Yeah, thank you. Now, as y'all see, you know, he pretty much tried to rub it on and said that he don't pay attention to, like, lies and stuff that don't make sense and uh, whatever the case may be. But his body language says something different. Now, not only that, you know, people started bringing up how Keefe D brought up in past interviews how, you know, pretty much the FBI told him that Puffy gave a guy named, um, I forgot the name, Zip, uh, $2 million after Pop passed away. And he also went on to say that, you know, Puffy owed him because they protected him when they were in Los Angeles. Well, in fact, you know, there was the, the rumor that after Pac got killed, uh, Puffy gave Zip a million dollars that was supposed to be handed over, and Zip ended up keeping it. And I remember when I interviewed T.K. Kirkland, who was actually roommates with Zip at one point. They were that close. He actually said, yeah. The fan said, said that too. He said that, that shit actually happened. Do you feel like Puffy owe you? Yeah, he should. I think he should look out. He look out for everybody fucking else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think he. I think yeah, I think he should look out. You know what I'm saying? He he worth a billion dollars. He should come look out. Come build a build a basketball gym at our parkers. Do something. You know what I'm saying? Do something for us, dog. You know what I'm saying? He he wrong. You know just he just he like like we some. Shit the grass or something you know what i'm saying like he don't even know us no more god damn buddy if you could say anything to puffy after everything you did for him what would you say to him i'm still here bro still waiting you know what i'm saying i'm still here waiting bro now as y'all see man you know things are starting to add up and it's looking like puffy may get grabbed now i'm gonna be real with y'all I always thought Puffy was weird, you know what I'm saying? For one, how freaky he is with a lot of dudes, uh, you know, how they was all hugged up at the party. But not only that, this clip right here was all I needed to see. Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. I love you. Yeah. Now, as y'all see, Puffy was recording Meek Mill while he was in the pool and said, you deserve it, daddy. And that right there was all I need to see, bro. I don't care how, how people try to, like, portray it. I always knew something was odd about Puff, you know. And I always look at anybody that they push up in front of us and they try to put on this pedestal, like, these black millionaires. Like, these niggas be too perfect for their own good, bro. I be knowing it's always something because ain't nobody perfect, bro. But, hey, I will say, you know, um, God sees everything, bro. What's done in the dark, you know, God will deal with it. You feel me? And... If I'm him, I'm definitely trying to get a lawyer up because Keefe D had already told before. He had said he had cancer, so, like, he probably going to tell again, but he's 60 years old, man. At this point, that man tired of dealing with that, man. I ain't going to count, but if you had something to do with it, you might well go and get ready to lawyer up yourself, bro, because, hey, about Tupac, these people are not playing, and they don't care how long it take, as you see. That junk happened in 1996, and to this day, they still talking about it and making arrests, but... Give me y'all thoughts and opinions about this in the comment section and let me know what y'all think, man. Do y'all feel like Puffy will be getting booked soon or do y'all feel like KVD is capital? Do y'all feel like Puffy is good? Give me y'all thoughts and opinions and let me know what y'all think. It's your boy Look is Jay. Thank God for another day. May y'all be safe. I love y'all. Christ loves y'all so much more, man. And yeah, bro. I'm out.